Welcome back. Today we have the uh, Contron MPP ADS EEPROM programmer. Uh, this is a, an old school uh, suitcase windowed EEPROM programmer uh, for programming uh, basically that type of EEPROM. Uh, it also has a UV eraser built into it. Uh, this programmer does have some issues uh, including uh, that the connection to the serial port is not working at all. I've already had the unit apart and I know that there is uh, an uninsulated bodge wire in here that needs to be replaced so we're going to be working on that. Uh, let me see here, let me grab a power cord and we'll get it plugged in and I'll uh, show you what it's doing. So when we power it on, we get garbage on the display for a few seconds. Uh, it does say that it expects a 2716 EEPROM. Uh, the uh, UV eraser works. Now sometimes, after a while, this will go to saying uh, error CRC, which uh, in the manual, the instructions are uh, to return it to Contron for servicing. But uh, I'm pretty sure they wouldn't service it, and I wouldn't want to pay to have them service it. So we're going to find out what's going on here. So we're going to switch it off and uh, we'll get it opened up. Four screws on this unit. I'll go ahead and remove the socket adapter and the personality module. Set those to the side. There we go. We have one ground wire to remove. And then we can set this out of the way. Alright, so what we have here is a uh, power supply, UV eraser tube, uh, and then here we have a, a Z80 CPU, uh, Z80 PIOs, Z80 CTC, uh, a UART uh, here, and uh, this is where the serial port connection is at, uh, display, keypad for entry. Uh, you can't see it because it's small, but there's a, an uninsulated copper bodge wire here. Uh, I covered some of this circuitry with uh, scotch tape just to keep it from making contact, uh, but it's time to go ahead and open it up and uh, figure out what's wrong here. The other issue that we have is uh, this is from the early 80s, and it has plated through holes, which from that time period, uh, they're notoriously uh, bad about having issues. So we're going to go in and uh, repair that and uh, see if we can get everything going the, the way it needs to be going. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and uh, pause the recording, get things taken apart, and uh, get started on it, and then uh, we'll come back to it. 